Palestinians who live in Sha'afat in East Jerusalem took their anger to the street. They had just learned about the murder of 17-year-old Palestinian Muhammad Abu Khdir. His family accuses Jewish settlers of killing him. Between 3.30 and 4.30 a.m., Muhammad was walking to the mosque. A car stopped and men came out. They forced him inside and drove off. Israeli border police tried to curb the angry rioters. They fired tear gas and rubber-coated steel bullets. Dozens of people were injured. The killing of Abu Khdir happened less than two days after the bodies of three Jewish settlers were found in the occupied West Bank. The Israeli government blames Hamas for their abduction and murder. Palestinian officials argue that the Israelis are responsible for the latest round of violence. The Israeli policy is escalatory and dangerous. It creates a destructive atmosphere and will resort to all means to defend our rights and those of our people. The Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, called the murder of Mohammed Abu Khdir a reprehensible crime and ordered an investigation. He also called on all sides not to take the law into their own hands. People here are worried that this already serious situation may escalate. It's now up to Israeli and Palestinian leaders to ensure that doesn't happen. Nisreen al-Shamayli al-Jazeera, Shafat, East Jerusalem.